Okay boys, welcome to this video in which we're going to be looking at rates. Okay, so in a previous video we looked at ratios and rates is sort of similar to ratios, however it's sort of comparing it things in a different way. So in this video we're going to learn how we can calculate rates in regards to the unitary method. But first it's important that we understand what rates are. So I'm just going to show you quickly a, a definition here on what rates are. So as you can see, um, rates are the comparison between two things that are different. Okay, so when we looked at ratios, remember we we're comparing, let's say for example, boys to girls in the class, okay, we we're comparing things within the students, but when we're comparing rates or working out rates, it's usually different things. So the example might be uh, petrol stations or petrol, in where you, you find the rate of how much uh, you need to pay a litre of petrol with uh, the cost. Uh, you hear about rates in the cricket as well, okay, so the run rate meaning how many runs they make per over, so it's different things. Now the way that we're going to be looking at this is using the unitary method, so we're going to do an example, okay. So let's just say that we had, um, let's say, 8 kilos of oranges, okay, and that cost $24. Now, we wanted to know how much 6 kilo of oranges would cost. Okay, so when we think of unitary method, think of this number here. If I underline the first part to this word, it says uni, which we know means 1. So the best way for finding out rates or comparing things in this, in this regards is actually trying to find out what 1 would be. And that way you can work out anything from there as long as you know what the standard first unit is. Okay, so the first unit, unit, so let's work out, if we know that 8 kilos equals $24, what would 1 kilo equal? And the way you do that is simply divide your two numbers together. So here we go, if I'm going to divide 8 by 24, this will tell me what 1 kilo equals. You know, 8 doesn't go into 2, but 8, 16, 24 goes into that 3 times. So, if 1 kilo equals three dollars i should now be able to work out how many six kilos would equal okay so all i need to do is multiply that by six so if i bring this down here all i need to do now is six times three would obviously equal 18. so by breaking the, our, our rates down by understanding what one is we can then sort of expand from there and develop our other numbers from there. So what we're going to be looking at in the next video is how we can actually compare two different types of rates. So when you go shopping, you want to know that which one will be cheaper. Um, that's what we're going to be looking at in our next video. Thanks, boys.